अ फ्रेंड इन नीड इज अ फ्रेंड इन नीड जो भी आपके बुरे वक्त पर साथ देता है वही आपका असली दोस्त होता है दिस इज सो थ्रू इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल्स यस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द हम्बल एम्बुलेंस अ लॉर ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चर इन द कंट्री मेक देयर एम्बुलेंसेस बट टूडे पर हैप्स फोर्स मोटर्स इज द ओनली ऑटो मैन्युफैक्चर दैट मेक एन एंटायर एम्बुलेंस we have with us the proven force traveler ambulance and the proven trax ambulance these are already plying on indian roads doing great service we are going to get closer to these ambulances and find out what their features are and what they offer in our last video you must have seen how we have explained the different ambulances the categories they fall in i'm going to reiterate that again so stay tuned This is the Motown India show and my name is Roy P Tharian and also as you go along if you like this video do not forget to give us the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the Motown India channel do so now and equally important these are bad times so do wear your mask when you're outside maintain social distance stay safe In our last video on YouTube we showed you how important the role of an ambulance is especially during such torrid times the ambulance is like the unsung hero when compared to a fancy car or bike with huge power and torque it may not have fancy features like voice command or gesture controls fancy psychedelic interior lights and plush seats but for sure this vehicle is like a friend who is at your service the moment you are in trouble motown india picked up two ambulances from the force motors stable for a review because these are the only fully factory built ambulances in the country today we had a brand new trax and traveler ambulances for a full day to explore and to experience before we get into telling you all about these two ambulances let us first reiterate that there are mainly three different category of ambulances in the country today this categorization is as per the indian government the basic ambulance comes under type b category this is the patient transport ambulance the tracks we were driving was a patient transport ambulance This ambulance is meant for transport of patients who are not expected to become emergency patients. Then you have type C which is the basic life support ambulance meant for the transport and treatment of patients requiring basic monitoring and non-invasive airway management. The force traveler ambulance we were driving was the type C ambulance. The type D ambulance comes with advanced life support equipment which may include all types of monitoring systems defibrillator ECG machine besides the oxygen cylinders drip stands etc Force Motors also offers another variant that goes by the name of twin stretcher T2 ambulance This has got a wider body and is meant for transport of two patients who are not expected to become emergency patients The main difference in terms of dimensions between the T1 and T2 ambulances are the width which is 1900 mm and 2225 mm respectively and overall height which is 2550 mm and 2670 mm respectively. The wheelbase at 3350 mm, length at 5615 mm and ground clearance at 200 mm remain the same. coming to features and specifications the bs6 trax ambulance comes in both ac as well as non ac variant the bs6 model has got all new interiors new seats dual tone dashboard and new instrument cluster in the rear section where the patient is transported it has foldable seats for convenient movement swiveling fans and ample lighting it also has an auto loader stretcher mounted through specially designed ramp the trax ambulance can accommodate the driver one patient and five other people the patient stretcher is basically equal 
to four seating positions and hence is very accommodating. There is even a small storage box in one corner of the cabin for putting some essential items. In type B ambulance, there is hardly any space to stand and provide any medical assistance. It's basically a patient transport ambulance. Though I found the driver area comfortable and decently built, I wondered why the controls for the warning lights, siren and loudspeaker microphone were fixed near the driver's seat near to his legs. Now that's a big distraction for the driver when he's driving the vehicle carrying the patient and other people. It should ideally be fixed on the dash somewhere and should be easily accessible to him like the way it is fixed in the traveler. The rear door can be opened wide for easy ingress and egress for the patient and those accompanying him or her. It can also be locked in its open position for convenience. As for driving the vehicle, the vehicle is adequately powered and the gear shifts are easy and convenient. The engine produces 90 HP of peak power at 3200 RPM and peak torque generated by the 2.6 litre diesel engine is 250 Newton meters between 1400 and 2400 RPM. This low end torque is ideal to carry load with considerable ease. The Force Traveller Ambulance, on the other hand, is a world apart compared to the tracks. It is a lot more spacious and drives a lot smoother and swifter than the tracks. The acrylonitrile butadine styrene or ABS interiors impart high strength to the ambulance while it also has antibacterial disinfectant properties and aircraft-like interiors as against commonly used fiberglass reinforced plastic or FRP. The lighting within the rear cabin is top-notch and very practical. It has a floor height of 690mm in T1 and 670mm in T2 for loading foldable stretcher cum trolley which in turn is AIS-125 certified. This foldable trolley can be operated by a single person with great ease both while taking it out as well as while pushing it inside. Since we were driving the Type C travel ambulance, the equipment here is not as elaborate as compared to what is found in Type D. Since it was a review vehicle, it did not come with fixed equipment, but one could see within the cabin spaces earmarked for different medical equipment. There is also a deep cavity at the floor level where two 20 liters each oxygen cylinders can easily be fixed. This area can be accessed from a door outside. The good part of the forced travel ambulance is that since it is meant to transport patients who require some medical supervision, the paramedics can easily stand and take care of the patient as is done in a hospital. The cabin also comes with inbuilt power sockets to power different medical equipment. With a full length footstep, this ambulance has a 270 degree door opening with self-locking. High intensity flasher and wailing horn and rare flashing lamps and spotlight. The Traveller Ambulance is made entirely of pressed steel panel using robotic welding. With a monocoque design, the vehicle is ensured of an outstanding structural strength. The Traveller Ambulance is powered by a Mercedes-derived engine. It's a BS6 engine with a displacement of 2596cc which has four cylinders and a common rail direct injection. The engine produces a maximum output of 115 HP at 2950 RPM and a peak torque of 350 Nm at around 1400 to 2200 RPM. The engine is mated to a G325 Synchromesh transmission with five forward gears and one reverse. In front, it has dead rigid I-beam and reverse Elliott type axle while at the rear it has a live rigid axle. The front suspension comprises semi-elliptical leaf springs with hydraulic shock absorber and anti-roll bar while at the rear also it has semi-elliptical leaf springs with hydraulic shock absorbers.
For driving ease, the vehicle comes with power steering. It has disc brakes in front and drum at the rear and also has a mechanical parking brake. Safety features include hydraulic dual circuit vacuum assisted ABS with EBD. Like I mentioned earlier, the ambulance is like the friend who is beside you when you are in real trouble. A vehicle that you can depend upon when your health takes a beating. The recent ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has only highlighted the importance of this humble four-wheeler. The Force Motors Ambulance may be an unsung hero in the Indian automotive space for a very long time, but the time has come for it to be recognized as a superhero on four wheels.